Hello, my name is Jonathan Jesse, practice principal with ITS. I want to thank you for spending time watching this video in regards to reasons to migrate to Altera 7.1. This video covers enhanced and improved platform support. In Altera 6 and Altera 7, the management console was supported only on server 2003 32-bit. In Altera 7.1, we are now installing the management platform on Windows Server 2008. Just to kind of show it's not smoke and mirrors here, I'll show you that this is indeed my Server 2008. Go ahead and lock the screen here. Displays down at the bottom that I am running Server 2008 R2 Enterprise Edition. Now, the tricky part is on this demo if I can remember my password and it looks like I was successful. The next area is enhanced uh, support for what I like to call alternative operating systems. Those would be uh, Macintosh, Linux, Unix, Solaris operating systems. Within Altiris 7.1, um, we add features like being able to remote control a Mac or a Linux device. Uh, we also add support of Solaris and the ability to do deployment of those systems. So let's go ahead and take a look at my PC Anywhere settings. So I'm going to come in here and go into Agents and Plugins and All Agent Plugins. And you can see all of the different agents that I have. First of all, that the Semantic Management Agent is supported on multiple platforms. You can see the different platforms that I can install the Management Agent on. And then back to PC Anywhere, under Remote Control, you can see the different policies that I have available for my Linux devices, so Red Hat and SUSE Linux, Mac uh, for being able to remote control and manage those systems. This allows me to reduce uh, help desk visits, personal visits, etc. by able to remotely control those devices. The next area in platform support that I want to talk about is patch management. So let's go ahead and go into manage policies, if I can find them here, sorry. When I switch over to the console, by the way, you should be noticing that the platform is faster and responds better. If I get into patch management, you see that I have the ability to patch different types of systems. Let's go ahead and expand the patch remediation center. And you'll see added support for both my Windows patching and also for uh, Adobe as this system loads. So over here in the corner, you can see that I have Adobe patches, Microsoft patches, and then even both Linux and uh, Novell SUS Linux and Red Hat Linux to do patches on. So now I have the ability to remediate and patch um, some of these alternative operating systems. And you can see that I will filter these to Adobe, and you can now deploy, stage, and patch uh, Adobe patching. There are changes and additions coming to patch management uh, in 2011 that uh, will potentially add uh, different uh, options of patching. Uh, and stay tuned for more videos on, on those items. So when this refreshes, we'll be able to see uh, just my Adobe patches that I could create policies for. So. Why should I migrate to Altera 7.1? Uh, improved platform support. On the management console itself, I am installing on server 2008 R2, 64-bit. I have a 64-bit agent. I have the ability to remote control and manage uh, Unix, Linux, and Mac machines. And I also have enhancements and improvements within patch management by adding additional platforms. Once again, thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, give me a call or shoot me an email. Thank you very much.